What's up guys, PG here, hope you have a wonderful day. Today we're going to take a look at the latest news regarding the SOS stock. We're going to take a look if the SOS stock is still a great stock for the next coming days. Before you talk about that, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos, and let's jump right into it. Quickly, in the description, there's a link to Webull. You can get two free stocks when you deposit $100. Those two free stocks can have a value of more than $1,850, so some great gains. In the description, there's also a link to my Patreon. You can get access to my four portfolios, so you can see in real time what I buy and sell. And you can also get access to the Discord, where we talk all day long about the best stocks to buy. We're trying to find the big winners, stocks that will double, triple. It's really fun there, so if you want to join, click the link in the description. If we take a look at the chart, SOS is currently at $6.11 a share. It's up 0.32%. We can see it's in the green, beautiful to see. And we can see that in the after hours, it's also in the green. So it's great to see SOS in the green. Five days ago, the stock is down 19%. Now the whole market was in the red. so. Pretty normal to see it down 19%. We've seen with other stocks that the stocks were down 10%, 15, 25, 20. So here we've seen 20, 20, almost 20%. I wouldn't be worried about it. One month ago, the stock is down 8.67%. Six months, the stock is up 221%. We can see we had a stabilization, the stabilization around $1 to $2 a share. Then it went all the way up. Then it's been now stabilizing around the $6 a share. But I think that this one can maybe have a breakout. And with all the crypto news that they have, I think that this stock can still have some breakout and still see some big movement in the stock and reach the double digits. Borsha recommends to buy SOS 80% yesterday, last week was 96%, last month 80%. So it's great that they went to from 80% to 96% and now back at 80%. But 80% is still a great percentage in my opinion. So that's great to see that Borsha recommends the stock 80%. On stock Twitch, we have 74,465 people watching SOS. So a lot of people are watching SOS, we can see that the price is up, the sentiment is up, and the message volume is up. So everything is in the green. That's beautiful to see. So with all the short sellers, with all the negative reports, the short reports that we had on SOS, we can still see that people are bullish on the stock. We can, see, we can see, still see that the stock is up. We take a look here at the chart, we can see the uptrend at the end of the day. So this one is having an uptrend at the end of the day, and maybe we'll see it breaking out next week on Monday. So that's pretty interesting and pretty exciting to see that SOS is still thriving amid all the negative reports, all the short sellers reports. So that's great to see for SOS. If you take a look at the demand for SOS on Google Trends, we can see some big spikes. Last week we had big spikes and on March 24th, when they did a big news release, we had one of the biggest spikes of the week. Then it's been going down now in the weekend, but we can still expect some big spikes coming next week and maybe more information about our, the news that we got that we're gonna talk about now. So now let's jump into the latest news regarding the SOS talk. We can see here they released a new statement on their website on March 24th. SOS takes initial steps to establish a digital asset exchange. SOS announced today that it has taken steps to establish a digital asset exchange. The company entered into a tailor-made license to use a blockchain asset exchange software system made by a third party in exchange for a one-time licensing fee. Once the software is installed and operational, the company expects to establish a digital asset exchange. The company also intends to offer security and insurance services for digital assets. The company's chairman and CEO, Yan Dangwang, commented, This is a key step in our blockchain and cryptocurrency strategy. The digital asset exchange is an important part of our goal to provide blockchain services, digital asset security, and decentralized finance services, DeFi. So some great news. So that's some great news for the SOS stock and seeing that they're diving even deeper into the blockchain and cryptocurrency world, that's beautiful to see. And if you don't know what a digital asset exchange is, you can see here, a digital asset exchange or, digi or digital currency exchange is an online business that allows customers to trade cryptocurrencies or digital currencies for other assets, such as conventional government issued fiat money or other digital currencies. So that's a big step, that's a major step into the crypto world for SOS and that will make SOS maybe a leader in their industry, in a leader in the crypto world. So that's great to see that SOS is going there. We've seen that they have their, their 15,000 mining weeks, now they are going to the digital asset exchange world. So that's beautiful to see and something really exciting for the stock. That's why we had a big spike in the demand on March 24th, it's, that was with the news, that's some great news for SOS. So great news to see that they're doing a digital asset exchange and maybe will even assure people that they're a standard company and that they're doing something great and that they have great projects for the future because with all the fraud allegations, with all the, the, the short reports that we got, maybe people and investors were a little skeptic and maybe a little scared to invest or to hold their position into the SOS stock. But seeing here that they're doing some great things with the crypto world and that they're continue to innovating and try to become leaders in their industry, that's beautiful to see and something we love to see as investors. Now on the same day on March 24th, we have also an article on Investors Place talking about the SOS stock. We can read here, use weakness in SOS limited stock as a buy opportunity. 
Cryptocurrencies aren't for everyone, however, if you're looking still for exposure, you may want to consider crypto mining stock like SOS Limited. After all, the higher cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin go, the higher the miners go. In this article, I outline why you should consider SOS stock. So that we know, as, 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 as Bitcoin will go up, if Bitcoin continues to go up, go to 100,000. If you can see tomorrow Microsoft or Apple or Facebook buying crypto, buying Bitcoin, we'll see the cryptocurrency stock once again go up. We've seen it with NFT stocks. NFTs where people were talking about it a couple of weeks ago, last week. So we saw some big spikes with the NFT stocks. And now we can expect some big spikes with the Bitcoin stocks and with the crypto mining stocks. So that's nice to see. Between October 1 and today, Bitcoin ran from 10,600 to 56,000, almost X5, more than X5. Miners were explosive over the same frame. Real blockchain ran from $265 to $47.87. Canon Creative ran from $190 to $19.34. Bit Digital ran from about $4 to $30.91. Hive Blockchain ran from $0.27 cents to $3.30 a share. Since October 1st, SOS stock has run from $195 a share to $6.12 a share. While SOS did pull back with Bitcoin over the last few days, it could easily see higher highs. Imagine what can happen to SOS if MicroStrategy CEO Michael Saylor is right about Bitcoin being worth $100 trillion one day. Now here, SOS has big opportunity ahead with cryptocurrencies. In February, the company took 5,000 money weeks from Bitcoin and Ethereum live. It was then awarded its first Bitcoin. Then Bar Marsh added another 5,000 money weeks together with its prior fleet of 5,000 money weeks. The company expects to combine fleets to have the capacity to calculate an average of 353 Fed hashes per second for mining Bitcoin and 707 giga hashes per second for mining Ether, reported the company in a March 15 press release that we talked about a couple weeks ago. Even better, for the current quarter, it expects to mine about 41 Bitcoin and up to 909 Ethereum coins. I'd like to see SOS stock closer to its 15.88 highs near term. Going forward, the company expects to add another batch of mining rigs. We've seen, we've seen that had 15,000 mining rigs. The bottom line of the SOS stock, with cryptocurrencies expected to surge higher, miners like SOS are sure to follow. In fact, there is a powerful history of that. Allegations of wrongdoing seems to have been fully pressed into the now oversold stock. In addition, it has 10,000 man rigs up and running with expectations for another batch of rigs shortly. It was also awarded its first Bitcoin. Again, cryptocurrencies aren't for everyone, but if you're looking for strong exposure, consider mining stocks like SOS. As I said earlier, imagine what would happen to SOS if MicroStrategy CEO Michael Saylor is right about Bitcoin being worth $100 trillion one day. Use the weakness in SOS as an opportunity to buy near term. I'd like to see SOS challenge a prior high of $15.88 a share. Longer term, as Bitcoin pumps, I'd like to see double, if not triple. So, very bullish article on the SOS stock, but he has great points, and we've seen that they just that they have their 15,000 mining weeks, they have 10,000 up and running, and now they're also working on their digital asset exchange. So some great news. So that's great to see amid all the allegations, the short sellers and the short reports that we saw a couple of weeks ago. That's beautiful to see that they are now up and running and that they are getting more strength, more, more, more exposure, and that people are getting more and more bullish on them. Because we've also seen with all the crypto stocks that a lot of crypto stocks have been going down. We've seen with, with Hive Blockchain, with Riot, a lot of cryptocurrency stocks have been going down. People were focusing on NFT stocks right now, but I think that cryptocurrency stocks, mining stocks are not finished. And uh, that we can see maybe double, triple, like he said here, there's a big chance because Bitcoin is not finished, Ethereum is not finished. It's here to stay for the next decade and more and more people each day are investing. More and more companies are investing. We've seen with Tesla buying 1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin and I think that we'll see other companies come. So I'm very bullish on Bitcoin, on Ethereum and on all the cryptocurrency stocks. I think that Bitcoin has a big chance of reaching $100,000. I think that Ethereum has a big chance to reach $10,000, $30,000 without a problem in 5 to 10 years and maybe Bitcoin will go to 1 million like people say. Some people, some experts, some analysts see Bitcoin at 1 million. So there's a possibility here and I think that as long as Bitcoin and, mine and Ethereum, Ethereum will go up, cryptocurrency stocks will also go up. So pretty exciting for SOS and for all the other stocks related to SOS, to all the other stocks related to the, the mining and the crypto world. We can see, for example, Hive Blockchain, Mara, Riot, CNET, IQST. We have a lot of cryptocurrency stocks and some great cryptocurrency stocks. So that's really exciting and some really bullish articles and people are really bullish on the stock in general. So only great news here for SOS. That's great to see. Before we finish today's video, let's take a look at what our favorite investors have been investing in. We'd like to take a look at Larry Fink of BlackRock. We'd like to take a look at Jim Simons of Financial Technologies, Katie Wood of Rock Invest. 
Today we're going to take a look at Larry Fink of BlackRock, see what BlackRock has been investing in at Larry Fink, because we like to see, we like to take a look at what big investors invest in, because if you can see that they invest millions of shares, 20 million, 30 million, 10 million shares in a stock, there's probably a great opportunity here for the mid to long term. That's how I like to choose my mid to long term stocks. And if you take a look here, the list is from 10 March, so only two weeks ago. And we can see here, we have the first, the first big amount we have here, 1 billion shares in CX. So BlackRock and Larry Fink invested 1 billion shares in CX, which is completely monstrous. So we're gonna take a look at that one. Then we have also here 30 million in GBGS, 23 million in FERC. Now let's take a look at uh, the first two ones we saw, CX here with 1 billion shares, 1.5 billion. And then the second one we have here, FERC with 23 million shares, beautiful. Let's take a look at those two ones and see if there's a great opportunity, how the chart is looking and if maybe those are great stocks to, to consider for the long term. So the first one on the list that Larry Fink and BlackRock invested 1.5 billion shares in, which is completely monstrous. We can see here, same except the CVIDR, ticker symbol CX, it's currently at six six point seventy one dollars a share, up 2.29% on Friday, great day, after hours also in the green. Five days ago the stock has been on the downtrend, only 0.30%, not too bad, one month down 1.90%, not too bad also, six months up 80%, if you take a look at the chart, this chart is looking beautiful. So those are my favorite kind of shorts. And we can see that it was at 372, so almost doubled in six months and some beautiful steady growth. So just by looking at that chart, for me, I like the stock and I'll consider buying it. So that's beautiful to see. If you take a look at the second stock that Larry Fink and BlackRock have been investing in, it's here, Ferguson PLC. They invested more than 23 million shares in that one. We can see that it's at $121.82 a share, up 2.50%, beautiful growth. Five days ago, the stock is up 3.49, beautiful growth in five days. One month, 2%, six months, 20%. Not as beautiful of a chart as with the first one, CX, but still a great chart. It was at 100, so 20%, not too bad. One year ago, this is looking mo more like I like and a beautiful steady growth. It was at 58, so doubled in one year. Beautiful growth, 107%. And five years ago, we can see beautiful growth. We had a big, a big dip here around March, around March, a big dip. And then it went all the way up. So beautiful short. It was at 58 five on, on tw tw in 2016. So beautiful growth. I like it. Those two ones are looking beautiful and some great stocks just by looking at the chart. Now maybe we'll have to take a look at uh, the financials, see what they plan, on, they plan on doing for the future, what those two companies are and um, who their executives are, and maybe some great reasons to consider a stock. But those stocks, those two stocks based on the chart are looking beautiful. And I understand why BlackRock and Larry Fink invested millions and billions of shares in those two ones. Beautiful. Now, if you want to know all the stocks that I plan on buying and selling in real time, you can click the link in the description. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll have access to my four portfolios so you can see in real time what I buy and sell and you get also access to the Discord where we talk all day long about the best stocks to buy. It's really fun there. We talk all day long about what stocks will pop next week, what stocks will pop. We're trying to find the big winners. It's really fun. So if you want to join, you can see the link in the description. In the description, there's also a link to Webull. You get two free stocks when you deposit $100. Those two stocks can have a value of more than $850 and there are free stocks. Yesterday, I, I got a message saying thank you for the, for the Rebull. I got some two great stocks. So it's great to see that you get great stocks. Tell me in the comments which one you get. I've seen that people get some stocks like some people get Levis, some people get, get Neo, Palantir, Tesla, some great stocks. Tell me in the comments which one you got. Remember that everything I said in this video is for entertainment purposes only. If you enjoy, you can leave a like, you can subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.